This video is brought to you by OneBone, the first ever size inclusive big and tall brand. Click the link in the description and use code FULLMOUNT for 15% off your first order. More information later in the video. Alexander Volkanovsky plans on finishing Islam Makhachev early and not going the distance this time around. During a media scrum, Volk said it's going to be an exciting one. Obviously, I want to go out there and hurt him. We'll try to make sure it doesn't go five rounds. I want to finish it early. I don't want to test his gas tank. Don't get me wrong, I think I can do it, but let's not try and test it. Let's just finish it nice and early. With how excited I am, how refreshed I am, both mentally and physically, I'm gonna be a dangerous man in there. I plan on knocking him out. Javier Mendez posts footage of Islam preparing for the rematch against Volk. Round and pound. While filming is going on. Man, training is going at Nas. Thank you, Prince Hamdan, for this beautiful facility and the greatest host of all time. Thank you, Ahmed Jabber. I stopped filming and we ripped the bag open with an elbow. <laughs> no, no, that's what happens when you snooze, you lose. Aljamain Sterling questions how Kamaru Usman is going to look against Hamzat, considering he took the fight on short notice. Aljo admits that he himself has been on a vacation slash drinking bender since the loss to Sean O'Malley. However, he does not believe Usman drinks or parties as much as he does. I don't know how often... He's like lifting weights. Yeah. He's big. We don't know how often Usman's been training. We know he's been taking advantage of his downtime the um, same way I have. Uh -huh. I don't think he drinks anywhere near as much as me or anything like that or as consistently as I have been on a, on a bend, yeah. for, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm coming off of the bend, guys. I'm ready to get back into the swing of things, so. Sure. Big Body Funk is gonna start to lean out a little bit, bring back the abs. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> but we still got Abu Dhabi and Dubai. Yeah, come on. And Cancun. Come on, you got like another <laughs> month, I think. Yeah, no. or but I wanna, I wanna start training. But if I'm going back to it, I think Hamza is the better pick the safer pick, but I think there's going to be big value on the opportunity for um, for Usman to get the upset. Because he's a wrestler, man. Wrestlers versus wrestlers, they negate each other. It's going to be interesting to see if Hamza goes the Gilbert Burns route. But I think the jujitsu and the anti-wrestling of Burns maybe concerned him a bit. Like, oh, this guy's defended against Damian Maya and was able to... You know, so it's just, you got to play those games in your head and respect your opponent's skill set to a certain extent. The trajectory Hamza was on, and at the time Kamaru looked like he couldn't lose to anybody. Mm -hmm. So I always thought like that was going to be the fight at welterweight that really tested Hamza. Yeah. So I'm actually excited we get to see it now, but it, I feel like we also get to see if Kamaru actually lost a step or if Leon's just that good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like I don't know. Like I feel like that was the question that Leon left. Is like. Is, was that, is Kamaru just out of his prime? UFC lightweight Vince Pichel reveals why he hates Tony Ferguson. Vince tells a story that took place in John McCarthy's gym, where he claims he allegedly punched Tony in the groin. In an interview with James Lynch, Vince said Tony Ferguson came in because he wanted to train with the team. And immediately before that, we knew he had a reputation of being a bridge burner. He's burned people before and we all knew about it. Big John kind of came up to us and was like, hey, Tony Ferguson wants to train with us. At first, I'm like, you know what, f that guy, because he's a scumbag, I don't trust him, right? But on the other end, he'd be a good partner. So let's just let him come in and let's train with him, and see how he does. If he fits in with us, like shit, he might fit right in. I might just be an asshole. He could fit in with us, so let's do it. So he comes in one day, and at the time I'm just coming back in the gym, I had a very bad neck injury. I don't even remember how I messed my neck up. I want to say it was like dirt bike riding or something. I had a real bad neck injury, so I wasn't training. I had just got back in the gym and I was still a little like injured, but like kind of getting over that hump and starting to get better. We're practicing Kimuras, and so we're going over technique, just technique. We're not doing shit, but technique, right? I tell him like, hey, I'm just coming back from a neck injury. Whatever you do, just like don't do anything that's gonna tweak my neck with a Kimura. First thing this piece of shit does is he gets a Kimura and he continues to scissor me across my neck and just squeeze it as hard as he can. 
not even touching the Kimura, just squeezing my neck as hard as he can. So I started cussing, and I think I punched him in the f***ing d*** or something to get him to let go. I was just letting him do technique on me. So I get up and he's like, what's your problem? And I f***ing shove him. Big John gets in between us, and he's like, what's going on? I'm like, f*** this guy. F*** this guy, John. If you're going to keep this guy, I'm gone. I don't give a f***. F*** this guy. He's a piece of sh Ever since, I've been like, f*** you, Tony Ferguson. I'll never be friends with him because that showed me what a piece of he really is. As mentioned in the beginning, this video is brought to you by One Bone, the first ever size-inclusive big and tall brand. One Bone tops range from size medium all the way to an 8XL, and bottoms ranging from waist size 30 to 65 inches. Not sure what size you are? One Bone has a fit calculator that nails your perfect size in less than 10 seconds. They are primarily focused on the fit and premium fabric of their clothing. You can find your favorite fighters rocking One Bone. This by far is the best. Actually, how things that I actually wear, real drip, real attire, real things that you can wear out. Man, this swag is crazy, man. If you're not satisfied with your order, One Bone offers free exchanges and returns to guarantee your perfect fit. They also give you the option to pay later, so you can pay off your order with four interest-free payments. So click the link in the description and use code FULLMOUNT for 15% off your first order. Gordon Ryan and Mark Hunt went off on each other on social media. It started over Gordon's comments regarding the UFC parting ways with USADA. Gordon said if the UFC regresses back to the old days, this is amazing news. The reason people watch professional sports is almost exclusively for entertainment value. Few people who watch pro sports have any real desire to excel at those same sports. So really, they're just watching for the most entertainment. The higher the testosterone, the more physical the athletes are, the less prone to injury they are. The faster they recover, the longer they can compete, and the more entertaining and high-paced they are. The better they look, the more attention they draw, the more money they make. Obviously, Mark Hunt does not agree with these comments. On Instagram, Mark said, what does this idiot know about fighting? At Gordon Loves Jiu Jitsu. Maybe have at least one proper fight before you start talking, head. Maybe I should get on the sauce and stomp your face and see how you like it. Gordon replied, if you read the post, you'd either see the validity in the arguments or offer up a decent rebuttal that was factually based. You did nothing but blabber out your fat, miserable mouth. We can fight anytime you'd like. You may very well knock me out before I get a hold of a leg. But then again, you also may not. And I'm very willing to take my chances. Miserable f And that's going to wrap it up for the news. Thanks for watching. For daily MMA news and content, subscribe to Full Mount MMA. And click the bell icon to be notified when we post videos. Here are the three top comments from last video. These comments are in reference to the Misfit Boxing event over the weekend. The first one's from Chris Danks. This is the only person who thinks KSI won or KSI fans. Dude hugged Fury like he was a professional hugger. The second one's in reference to Joe Rogan comparing Dylan Danis to Ben Askren and Dylan getting upset over it. it. Says he's right, he's not like Ben Askren. Ben was a champion in two organizations. The final one says it's sad to see how much traction these con artists have gathered with just trash talking each other and embarrassing each other for their known scams. Let's hope one day we have some solid boxing promoters that are driven by the love of the sport and not the money laundering. The Tyson times seem like a myth compared to this circus that took place. Those were the three top comments from last video. If you want to be featured in the next one, all you have to do is comment down below. And if you missed yesterday's news, click the video on screen right now to get caught up.